Oh, you mean... Indeed. I found them. The full me and Taka's bodies have both been hidden in the repository. Goodbye. I've already told you hitting at Sakura, we will go and head. Their bodies are in the repository. Is that the locked room? Or is that then here? Hang on. Where the fuck is the repository? That body's here somewhere. Hmm. I have to wonder where they could have been hidden. You said they were in there right now, right? Up ahead is the repository, the door not turned. I guess it's unlocked. Then I have no choice but to go inside. So I opened the door. When I entered, I saw... The two bodies that had disappeared were right there. The smell of blood made me gag. What I saw before my eyes was unquestionable, unavoidable, unwavering reality. And then I heard the announcement for, the, for a second time. Ding dong, ding dong. A body has been discovered! Thank you, Matakuma. time, which you may use however you like, the class trial will begin! Oh, hi. And there, and so here we are. It's the Monokuma file! Without further ado, let me give you all the next Monokuma file. <laughs> I was going to hand them out when y'all find the body the first time, but I thought something might happen. What? It was really hard to read this, but it turns out I was right. It's headed over already. Punishment is waiting for you. Now make sure to investigate with all your mental might and prepare for the wait. Now make sure to investigate with all your mental might and might prepare for the class trial. See ya later! Okay, see ya later. Hmm. Well then, now that we found the culprit, all, all found the bodies, all that's left is uncover the culprit. Hold on. How can you be so calm? I mean, they're dead, you know. That's terrible. Dead? Gone forever? They might never. Or they're never coming back. <laughs> awful. It's just so too awful. You know, suddenly burst into tears. Christian Hifumi's lifeless body. Large wet tears fell from her eyes. The tears landed on Hifumi's cheeks. If this were some kind of some world of make-believe, that might have been when Hifumi opened his eyes. But this wasn't a movie. Ah, uh, he's alive. This wasn't. <laughs> He's alive again? Where am I? Cold. So cold. Is winter coming? Okay, okay, Ned Stark. Hifumi, wake up! Huh? Uh, that's right. I remember now. Hope's Peak. Come on, you gotta wake up! I remember everything. Before I met you all, I met you all. <laughs> His memories are all blended together. He had nothing useful to offer us. Uh, the light. It's reaching out to me like the tail 
of a comet. Hey, Umi! Who was it? Who attacked you? Who tried to kill you? Who killed me? That's right. I remember their name. Y Yasu. Hero. Okay. So who was Hero? <laughs> His eyes closed, and they never opened again. Death for the second time. Absolute undeniable death. It wasn't the first time absolute undeniable. No matter how many more of Hina's tears splash into his face, there was no second miracle reality set in again. In some stereotypical fancy world, tears can't restore a person's vitality. Honestly. You have no tears, do you? No blood in your veins, no calcium in your bones. At least you have your meat. Stop talking. You're just angry. Going out of his way oh, his return just leave us with those unnecessary dying words. <laughs> now this game has become exceedingly boring. He said, "Yes, a hero, right?" Then perhaps. Yes, a hero, Hagakure. This is the only person who could have been referring. He could have been referring to. So, in other words. And with that, the case is solved. Assaulting people and then killing Taka and Hifumi, and then going so far as to hide their bodies. A criminal that hides his face behind a mask and uses a bunch of giant wooden hammers. Is that what a hero is? What is if it's true, I can't forgive him. No way can I ever forgive him. To kill our two friends. That's fine. Anyway, it's about time we track down the culprit in our little life or death game here. Although this time is not at all it's not all of that life or death, the trouble will conclude with that much trouble. Indeed. Yes, it does look that way. It's going to begin again. We have to go through this one more time. I have to accept it. I have no choice but to go through with this, with this to make sure everyone survives. I just have to do it. Let's try to check with the Monokuma file. It is where Hafumi Yamada and Kiyotaka Ishimaru. Other death was each with blood to the head. They were both killed with a singular weapon. AKA the hammer. That's it. Very strange. Yeah, it's pretty strange. We got way less information this time than before. <sighs> and it's no problem. After all, the events of this case unfold before our very eyes. We should know more about what happened than the, Mo than the Markuma file could anyway. Hmm. Maybe. Well. Someone else has bothered me. Someone else could be missing has been missing for quite a while. Are you talking about are you talking about Kyoko? Perhaps. Without a doubt. She has an alibi for once thus and if we were attacked. But what if the killer wasn't at, at, acting alone? What if they had an accomplice? An accomplice? An accomplice? What are you doing here? Monokuma appears! Don't be rude. I'm gonna answer your questions. What question? Yep. You're talking about accomplices, right? I'm pretty sure I explained it before, didn't I? During the first class trial. Speaking of which, I'd like to ask the bear. If there is an accomplice, do they also become blackened? So you ask, and so I shall answer. Each murder is allowed to have an accomplice, but only the one who does the killing will get to graduate. <laughs> so in other words, two people can work together but one of them has no chance of profiting from it. Then there's no way anyone would work together, right? In other words... So basically... I can't, I can do that, I can't. You can be an accomplice if you want, but there's no gratification in it. So then... So what you're saying, 
So you, are you saying nobody worked together this time, either? Hey, um... Sorry, can't answer that. I would, it would have struck the free exchange of information between you guys. I would want, I just want to make sure you don't forget, no matter how much you might insist it a matter. Phew. Only one black can graduate, and a comment gets nothing. So in other words... We only need to figure out who the one black end is that did the killing, right? Just like normal? Well... Okay, okay, let me take some time to clarify the whole shebang. In this class trial, what you need to determine is... Extreme. The one true black end who devised the murder plot and put it in action. The true black end, so just one person? Well now. That's enough before they explain a fine. Now it's down to the final battle between all y'all and the black end. Good luck to all your contestants. So there can only be one black and accomplice wouldn't benefit. But I can't see any way Kyoko would be a kind to this case after all. Hmm. You may be right. Um... If that's true then, Kyoko, where are you? However... As long as she's connected to the case, it doesn't matter. We'll get back to the investigation. Indeed. I have absolutely no doubt that he is responsible. But for the time being, I suppose I can't hope to pursue for the information. You know, don't you suspect we should consider a certain sus someone suspect just in case? I'm talking about the murder scene, just like Jack. What? Whoa, I'm offended. Oh. Yeah? You, when did you? <laughs> I'm looking all over for you, Master. When I woke up, you were nowhere to be found. Anyway, you there. Milk sack swimmer girl. Huh? Milk sack? You've gotta be kidding! Why do I gotta be a suspect? Well, I mean, you are a serial killer. <laughs> so what? I'm a special guest. I'm like a special guest. Ah, I'm like a su special guest suspect every time. I have an alibi every, you know. Hmm. She's right about that. When I heard Fumi scream, she was with me. When her body disappeared, she was still lying unconscious in the equipment room. Plus, Tucker's body aside, I can't imagine any way she would have been able to remove Fumi's body. Yep. Besides, I color every move I make. I'm not gonna kill someone when everyone else knows what I look like. <laughs> They don't call me the murder fiend for, no bit, for nothing. What are you saying? That's not the kind of thing you should be bragging about. Let's see. On another, on another topic. Should we post a guard by the bodies like before? We can't have them disappear again. So then. Hina not gonna handle that. You don't mind, do you, Hina? Hmm. Sure, I'd be to use this investigation anyway. It's all clear now. And that's that. Let's begin. This whole thing is so strange. All... But one of us has an alibi, so figuring out who did it should be obvious, right? But maybe it's just me, but I don't think it's going to be as straightforward as it seems. Okay, let's investigate this first. Mallets. Could the digital hammer have been designed using one of these as a model? Either way, all the hammers here are obviously seen as a lot of use. From the reason, chocolate stone powder. Wait. For some reason, this one hammer isn't dirty at all, and it's wet. Did someone wash it recently? Okay. Taco, he can remove again. According to the Monokuma file, he died of a blow to the head. Can't find anybody who couldn't really kill him. There's a tarp laid out of his body. The killer uses him, the killer uses him to move Taco's body. That way, there wouldn't be any blood left behind while the body was moved. Blue tarp. Fumi's big, cold body is laying on the floor. His real big body. I mean, how on earth was he able to move someone so big? All the way we to the laboratory. All the way to the first floor, second, and third. All and all without anyone noticing. How the hell? It's no good. I just don't get it. I can't think about. It. I can think about it later. For now, I have to finish investigating Fumi himself. If I remember correctly, Fumi's fatal injury was, a, was also a blow to the head. Probably from just Hammer Three, which was laying on the floor in the nurse's office. Huh? Wait. Something's off about his body. How am I getting this feeling? Something's different. Something about Hifuin's body in the nurse's office versus how his body is right now. He's bleeding again. His glasses. When his body was in the nurse's office, it was covered in blood. But now they're completely clean. Does that mean someone wiped his glasses off? But who would do that and why? They have to be very suspicious. Hey, this is back. This is going earlier. Not you! Yeah. 
want that. It's a dolly, it doesn't have a handle. I saw this in the art room before, I guess it's used to move sessions around. It's kind of awkward, but if you bend down, it's not too hard to use. But wait, there's more. Was in the equipment room when we found Taco's body? Yeah, I know. And look at the wheel. The blood stain on it. So there's blood on where the on the wheel of the dolly that would move the equipment room to the repository. What's that what's the question for that? Hmm. Let me ask what's the incident this time, too many to be honest. Considering that it may be good to look back on everything that's happened. So then. Would you like my help? No. I'm good for now, okay? Hey, I'm a Kato. I've been thinking about something. That's the repository. Oh, what is it? Hmm. I heard Fumi and Taka's body disappeared. We split up to look around, right? I was really scared, so me and Taka are stuck together. What? We came right to the repository, you know, look around. But when we got here, the repository was locked. We couldn't get inside. It was locked. Hmm. And we came here as soon as we started, so there's no way someone could beat us here. So if that's true, then who locked it? Then why is it unlocked now? I wonder the same thing. It was a lot when we searched, the body began, but now it's wide open. There might be some secret lurking in there. But I'll probably have to leave this area to figure it out. Yakuya, yeah, do you think Hero really did it? I don't see how anyone else could think otherwise. When the attack emerges and disappears, it all happened. Everyone else anyone else had an alibi. The last thing Hifumi said when he died. Yeah, he said Hero's name. So in other words... And there's no room to suspect anyone else. Okay, but if he did do it... Why would he hide his body? How hide his identity with that weird he costume? Hmm. Maybe he thought that no, no matter what happened, he'd be able to save as long as face is covered. Because he's a fool of the century, you see. Sorry, I had a bad itch on my leg I to get. I mean, he is kind of dumb. But do you really think that's enough to explain it? I feel like there's a clue hiding in there somewhere. What? And is that it? And that's that's all the that bothers you about this case? Well, no, there are a few other things. Like, why did the killer try to hide the bodies? <laughs> we probably figured that if we couldn't find the bodies, we couldn't complete our investigation. But in this case, we found the bodies pretty easily, didn't we? <laughs> Again, it comes back to the fact that the culprit was a moron. Is that really all the, there is to it? The thing that bothers me is, why did they bother killing two people? What? What? Because all the rules says is if you kill someone and get away with it, you graduate, right? So if, you get, if you're the killer, your number one priority is not getting caught. Because two people means more clues, more chances to get you'll get find out. See. Hold on, perhaps. I see. So that, so that's what that means. Is everything okay? That's enough. Don't talk to me as if we're friends. Oh, huh? what's that? What's that attitude? <laughs> but you have my appreciation. Goodbye. Thanks to you, I might have some fun with this after all. His mysterious words hung in the air as he left the repository. He talked as if he'd figured something out. But if he did, would it have killed him to tell me what it was? Alright, let's leave. Let's get a lock on the door, but it can only be locked from the inside of the repository. Doesn't seem any way to lock it from the out room. Hmm. The door can only be locked from the inside of the repository, which would make me wonder. He and Sakura confirmed the door was locked after we started looking for the missing bodies. And the door is designed so they can only be locked from the inside of the repository. In other words, when Hina checked it, someone had already gone in the repository and locked the door. When they were done, they locked it and left, which is why it's unlocked now. But Hina claims that there's no way someone could have beaten them to the repository. So that certain someone... ...had to be one of them. Hmm, there's gotta be a clue around here somewhere. Make sure to check elsewhere, somewhere else. Oops, there's a in the equipment room. Yes. Back to the equipment room. I know the blood, the pool of blood in there had a, tra had a, you know, a track mark in it from the from the cart or the dolly. Here when they when the killer carried out the body away. What the fuck, what? 
I'm super pissed I missed out. I missed such an ultimately rare event. Some kind of tire mark going through the pool of blood in the middle of the room. It reminds me about the doll in the laboratory. There's blood on his tire. Could that blood have come from here? Which could mean that Taka's body was moved from the equipment room to the repository using the dolly. Both rooms are on the third floor, so they could definitely have been possible. Okay, if this dolly was used to move Taka's body, what about Hufumi? Means why I was in the nurse's office in the first floor. With the dolly, there's no way to get it get it up to the third floor. Still a total that's still a total mystery. Hot is tarp. It seems like I've seen it somewhere before, and just recently too. Okay. Oh, hang on, that's the tarp that was used for Taka, right? Let's go, Taka. Okay, this is off the edge. Why am I yawning so much? Clock is 1.20 in the morning. I've had a busy day, that's probably why. We gotta power on through it, then we gotta power on through it. I can sleep when I'm done. And I'll edit tomorrow. For now, to the nurse's office we go. I really wonder where Kyoko is. would be very helpful right now. Three, three the one that wants to kill Hifumi, so I'm with the body but left the one behind. Little trash can, I'll wait to something aside. Want to be a handkerchief? It's a glass of, glass of painting cloth, and it's got some kind of cartoon character on it. Oh, but it's also covered in blood. Oh. Oh, did you find something? Yeah, there's a cleaning cloth in the trash can. Huh? A cleaning cloth, and it's all bloody. Whoever this belonged to must have used it to wipe some blood. Who would need to do something like that? <sighs> I have the slightest good idea. Yeah, me either. But I think it might be important. Well, we know before we. I have clean glasses now. And we're trying to figure out why. We're finding a clean cloth with glasses on it. Blood pack is in here for blood reasons, I guess. It doesn't help me though, it's not a vampire. What are you investigating, Celeste? <laughs> I'm not investigating anything, precisely speaking. I am simply going around saying a hero might be hiding somewhere. What about you? Oh, you know, I'm just checking this and that. The main thing on my mind is how someone could have moved it from his body. Let's see. I hope he was moved, eh? When it, dis Wait, when it disappeared, you were supposed to be in the nurse's office, right? Yes, indeed. Correct. Hina was not feeling well, so I stayed behind to look after her. But she seemed to be moving away, but getting worse, so I took her to the bathroom. And when you got back, the body was gone? Mm. We could not have gone ramping up more than a minute or two, so... Yeah, he has the same thing. So wait, so then they could have been able to get in, move, get in and move Hifumi's body in a short amount of time? Indeed. It would seem so. To carry off someone as big as Hifumi in a couple of minutes is... I can't think of it as anything less than impossible. Fuck. <laughs> oh, hi. This is where you were. I've been looking for you. You have. I want to thank you for what you did. Not that you meant to, but you ended up making this little game of ours very interesting indeed. Um, you should go to Hero's room. Oh, well, let me give you this. Meet in the dining hall. This is the note Hero wrote to get us all to meet up, right? You remember well. Well, that penmanship was pretty rem remarkable, so it left an impression. It's all clear now. Anyway, that makes it clear, right? This is a trap. What is? <laughs> Hmm, seems to be even more exciting. Oh, what are you talking about? Boy, we're paid my debt. I don't owe you any more explanation. Goodbye. Goodbye. 
Um, so he said to go to Hero's room, but what's waiting for me there? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh... Do I have to go to Prince to find... Hang on a minute. Okay, it's not what I want. Hang on. Nor that. How do I... I guess I can't, huh? I was gonna check out his handwriting, because I know he wrote something else earlier, right? Fuck me. Alright, to his room. Fucking room is it Sakura? Oh, that's Sakura, okay. Oh damn, Hero's like in between two dead people now. The door is unlocked. I guess I can go inside. But I just say to take a to go look, it might not be a great idea, but I'm gonna take a plunge. Hero's room, there's all kinds of weird stuff in here. Where'd he even get all this from? More importantly, he still hasn't turned up. Which means he can't really complain if I don't get if I, if I don't get his permission to search his room, right? What the fuck is all this? Something in the cardboard box. It's a blueprint or something, and Something made out of it looks like cardboard, plastic, and platter and plaster. Is this Robo Justice? And it's in Hero's room. But oh, wait, these blueprints. Something about them bothers me. Hmm. Okay. Is that it? Bathroom. Is it in there? It's pretty grungy though. How did the bathroom get us dirty? Is that it? Okay. Okono, oh, big news, big news. What's wrong? We found Kyoko. What? Is she okay? Where is she? Wait, I'm not, I wasn't done. More big news. Robo Justice showed up too. Robo Justice. It's Hero wearing the costume. Okay. And wait, all you can, as soon as you can, hit the pool on the second floor. The same Kiro and Kyoko will turn up at the same time. And we have to hit the pool, right to the second floor as I could. All the fucking way over there. I've never been here before. <laughs> oh, okay. Intriguing. Hey guys! What's going on? Kyoko and I mean Phew man, I was having I have had the worst day. Hero. Talk to you first. Right. I found Hero. He was jammed to the pool lock, lock pool room locker. Yeah, it looked like he was fast asleep, so I kicked him and woke him up. Don't be mean! I still can't believe you kicked me. You could have been a little more gentle about it, like, I don't know, caress my face or something. What? That's creepy. Anyway, Kyoko, where have you been all this time? You just disappeared all of a sudden without, without a trace. Wow. There was something I had to check up on. What do you mean? Never mind. I can't never mind. It's nothing. Never mind. Hey. More importantly, she said that, but does she have any idea? Does she know people she... Wait, does she know people think she might be a spy for the mastermind? Yeah. First of all, Hero, you need to explain to us what you're, why you're just like that. I mean... Oh, uh, well, I mean, I have no idea. One second I was asleep, don't even know how that happened. Then I woke up, and there I was here. Hmm. I don't care if you do something about that costume and painting to look at you. Huh? 
Well, um, I don't know what something's saying, but I can't actually get it off. A little help. Why would you make something that you can't take off for you by yourself? You got it all wrong. I didn't make this stupid freaking thing. It would seem... The clasp on the back that's keeping you from getting it off. Looks pretty sturdy. I don't think you can get it off on your own. We don't really have a choice. Let's help him. It took everyone's help, but slowly we were able to get here out of the suit. It took a few minutes, but eventually we got it all... We got all, wait, we got all the pieces off. <laughs> Woo, free at last. Hmm. Isn't it kind of weird how perfectly the suit fits Hero? So then. More to the point, nobody but Hero would be able to obtain the costume. Uh, um. Wait, what? Hold on a sec. Honestly. Don't bother to act all innocent. The blueprints were in your room as well. Is that okay? How do you know about that? In other words, it is obvious to everyone that you made the costume. <laughs> That's true, I saw the blueprints myself. Yeah, me too. Could it be? That's obvious, the one who put the costume on and went around attacking everyone. That's terrible! With Hero. <sighs> Shall we tie him up and gag him? Just the worst. Good idea, we wouldn't want him killing anyone else. <laughs> tie me up? Hold on guys, I think it's going a little too far. That's right. He may be a suspect, but he deserves fair treatment. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, uh, um, attacking blueprints, I have no idea what you guys are talking about. What the heck? You can't talk your way out of this. We decided to kill them. Please. Please. What killed who? I have no idea what you're talking about. There must be a, a fake hero running around. What are you saying? You're the one that you're the one. What well, you're the only one who can wear the costume. So who else could possibly be the, attack, the costume attacker? What the heck? How do you know I'm the I'm the only one? Maybe you should try it on for yourself before you can fix me. Okay. Fine. If you're gonna be a jerk about it, I will. Without missing a bit, wait, without missing a, without missing a beat, he has started putting on the Robo Justice costume. Huh. See, look. See how loose it is? I mean, come on. I'm blind as a bat in here. Can't see my feet at all. I'm surprised you got anywhere in this thing. I'm telling you, it wasn't me. And not to mention, you totally can't bend at the waist. Seems like a pretty obvious oversight. So how would he pick up... Anyone. That's not a very nice thing to say. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I mean, it's not like I made it. I just got caught up in the moment. Well, either way, now we know for sure, right? I mean, it seems pretty clear that nobody but Hero could have fit into this dumb costume. But if he can't fit the waist, how do you, how do you move the bodies then? That doesn't make any sense. In a huff, he took the suit back off again. Oh. Well, now you're all excuses. Um... No, see, it's because you're a girl with another guy, then. Makoto, go ahead. Okay. I guess my will, I picked up the pieces off the floor and tried putting them on. It's no good, the arms are too long, there's no way I can wear this. Just a second! See, I told you it was impossible. <laughs> you were absolutely right, it seems this costume was made to fit Hero's body exactly. But... Then there's another costume, there must have one that looks the same, but fits them. Honestly. If you were on this line of defense, then show us some evidence. What the heck? Evidence? <laughs> you claim there's another suit, yes? This must be fine. Then you must find it and show it to us. <laughs> well, what the heck? Just the worst. Who cares? Here's the only one that's an alibi during this whole thing anyway. That's terrible! Well, not really. He was, in, he was locked in the locker, right? Which is how we know it's him. What? what? I mean, is that really true? I have no idea what's, ha what's been happening. Could someone, like, tell me? What the heck? Um, if you don't tell me what's going on, how am I supposed to understand? How am I supposed to understand? I think I figured it out that someone's been killed, right? Hey, Makoto, who was it? Well, two people were killed, Taka and Hifumi. What? 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 Two people? Just the worst. Why are you freaked out? You did it. Please. I did not. Huh? Wait, hold on. If those two are the ones that were killed... How about that? That's it. I know who did it. So then... As well tell us. Hmm. Taka and Hifumi were fighting over Alter Ego, right? I'm at least 30% Which right. means Alter Ego and Alter Hero must have done it. Correct. I see, that's unfortunate. Please. Huh? Unfortunate? What the heck? Stop trying to trick us. Just admit that you did it, okay? Uh, um, I'm telling you, you got it all wrong. Oh, so ah, no, that note. Note. Uh, um, that's nice. Someone slipped a weird note under my door. And here's what it said. 
I found a hole, maybe we can use, use to escape. Madokuma can't find us. They find out, so don't tell anyone else. And for, for now, let's meet in the rec room at 1 a.m. The last thing I remember is going to the rec room, then for some reason I fell asleep. Hey. The real killer probably drugged me or something. Just the worst. Not a chance. So. No, hold on, he could be onto something. The nurse's office did have chemicals that could do that. Huh? What, really? Uh, yeah. Water time. I got, big ass, I got this big ass 64 ounce water bottle now. I just fill up with water and put it in the fridge until I need it. Oh boy, that's a lot of water. I told you, someone's trying to set me up. Secret passage, a chance to escape, someone wrote all that to trick me. Uh. Yeah, that's true. You must be the one dumb fish to bite every piece of bait that floats here in front of you. You know, you know, you're not much better. Why are being trapped here for so long? If you know it's a lie, you gotta check it out, right? They preyed on my uh, they preyed on my desire to get out of here. They deceived me. Uh, I still don't buy it. Don't be mean. Well, you should buy it. Just a second. Okay, then shows okay, then shows a note. Hmm. With pleasure, I have it right here in my um pocket. No way. Looks like I lost it. Uh, yeah, sure. Please. You gotta believe me. I want her to fly. <laughs> As I said before, if you want to believe you, you can produce evidence. Can you show us a note? I have no particular issue with what you claim, but if you want us to believe you, you can give us a reason. Uh -huh. What the heck? We're serious. <laughs> <laughs> now then, shall we resume our investigation? There's no time to waste before the class trial begins. Why well, we need to keep investigating? We already know what, who did it. What the heck? Why? Why did you kill them? Tell us, hero. Uh, no, it's like I said. Just the worst. Was it really to get money? Madokuma offered us. Yeah, that must be it. You must be totally broke. That's why. Please. Wait, that's a false accusation. I forget. That's a false accusation. Someone help me. What are you saying? If you say what we haven't bound to gag you. Hmm. Give time the corrupt yellow carry on. You have time to search for evidence, right? What? Oh, you're right. I need to look for a, for the second suit in that note. Feet, don't feel me now. Get the to get back to guard duty. Gonna ask Toko or uh, just like Jack to check with me. Or which was me. But if she and Sakura get into a fight, we have a cat 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 catastrophe on our hands. Well, bye. One by one, everyone peeled away. Oh, Makoto, okay, do you have a second? Ooh, fuck. Huh? I want you to help me with the investigation. It looks like I got a late start on this one, so I need to make up for some make up some ground. Sure, I don't mind helping you, but can you promise me something? Later, when we have time, way will you tell me why you disappeared? Why is that? No. To reject me so simply. Anyway. Anyway, I need your help. You don't mind, do you? Okay. Shall we go? Thanks then. Wait, thanks. Now then, shall we? Hey. So Makoto, first, like you to examine the corpses. Damn, the corpses, I can't believe I'm hearing that from a girl with the same age as me. Correct. Dead bodies don't lie, you know. They tell the truth far more easily than the living. Hey. When do you agree? How am I supposed to answer? Anyway. Anyway, with a hurry before the class trial begins the new again. Yeah, you're right. Okay, then show me where the bloodies are. They were in the repository, and I guess we should head that way for now. Oh my god. Which running back and forth. <clears throat> right through here. Hifumi and Taka. For a moment, Kyoko seemed to go rigid, but only for a moment. So then. Well then, let's get started. He crashed down at Sataka and without hesitation began poking and prying the bodies. 